Okay, we're about to finish constructing our first truss, and um, I need to cut and install these uh, center uh, members. And um, so I'm going to get my my um, piece of balsa, and I'm going to lay it onto my drawing, just like this. And uh, let me put this, it's kind of hard to see because the, the camera is kind of giving you the impression that I'm not lined up because it's not directly above. Um, and I've already cut this side. This just happens, this end was cut from here and it just happens to be the same angle that I need. And so uh, one of the things you want to watch out for here, I'm going to use this, but one of the things you want to watch out for is you want to make sure you make this long enough. Because if it's not, when you try to glue it in, you're going to have a big air gap. And so I'm going to I'm going to cut this a little bit longer, and then I can always trim some off later. Okay, so that's that's drawn a little bit longer, and um, now I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to use my razor blade to cut my uh, my new member. And I'm kind of I'm, instead of pushing down, I'm kind of moving back and forth, and uh, that's because I don't want to smash this balsa wood was smash instead of cutting. So I want to make sure I don't smash it instead I cut it. And then um, I'm going to check this out and just dry fit it. And it looks like, man, it fits nice and tight, which is good. I want it to be, I want it to fit tight. And uh, I'm going to glue it in place just like that. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it. here. One way you could do this glue is you put a little pile of glue and you just kind of dip the ends into it. Uh, that, that makes it easier. Okay. There we go. And it actually stays in place pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and put some pins in to hold it, but it actually stays pretty well by itself. Just, just in case, I'm going to go ahead and put some pins in three pins should hold it in place and I want to make sure that this thing is vertical it is vertical so there it is and uh, so I want to cut this next member here and I'm probably not going to be lucky enough to have it work out to where the angle fits no I'm not okay so I'm going to line this up my pencil, I'm going to draw a line here and also a line here and I am going to make it a little bit longer just a just a skosh as they say longer and then I'm going to cut this so we have an angle here that I'm going to cut And we have see thing rolled on me. Okay, and then we have an angle right here. Let me cut. Okay, there we go. Back to my bridge. I'm gonna dry fit. I dry fit everything just to make sure. You can always trim some off if you dry fitted it, but if you've got glue on it. You know, you got to wipe the glue off. You can still fix things, but it's easier if you haven't glued it yet. Okay, I'm going to put a little too much glue, so I'm going to put some from that end on this other end to make sure it's all over the end there. And, oops. in place. So now I'm going to pin it in place. Push it down here. And push it down here. There we go. That should hold it. Wipe off some of my excess glue. And uh, I'm going to cut this member next. And so I've got Here and I've got a line 
here I am going to make it a little bit longer. I'm making all these a little longer and it turns out that it's working out in my, to my advantage because they're, they ended up being perfect. So if I if I'd cut them exact, I would have made them too short. So that's how things work out sometimes. Okay. So I'm going to rock this thing back and forth. I, I don't want this breaking off. That one kind of broke off a little bit too. Okay, and then I want And I've got my member cut, and it's going to fit like this, I believe. Yep. Okay, and that, ooh, that one turned out that's a little bit too long, so I need to, I need to trim some off. I'm just going to trim a little bit. Okay. a lot better. Okay, so that's the way it's going to go. Go ahead and put some glue on it. And put this in here. And there we go, that's a half. And then what I'll do is I'll put some pins in here and This will be half of the truss. Um, I need to go ahead and do the other side of the truss. Make sure you put enough pins. Don't be stingy with the pins. You want to make sure that you're forcing the wood to touch. Wood's got to touch, otherwise it's not strong. And then I will cut these the same way I've cut these, and I'll have half of my bridge done because I'll have half of the trusses built.